Hey, it's John here. Welcome to this video in which I want to talk to you about getting your Spotify profile ready for success. And here's what I mean by that. If you have published your music successfully to Spotify, Spotify automatically creates you as an artist on that platform. And there is access that you have to your artist profile on Spotify to update your graphics, update a bio, come up with artist picks, link together artist playlists to your profile and all the things that make your artist profile more engaging and give fans a lot more to do when they check you out on Spotify. So whether you are new to publishing your music on Spotify and you haven't really customized your Spotify artist profile yet, or maybe you have done that already, you have access to Spotify for artists, you already worked on your artist profile on Spotify, but you're still wondering, have I set up everything correctly? Are there a couple additional things that I could learn or could improve? Then this video is for you. And here's where we're gonna start. There are in fact two Spotify related applications that you want and need to take full advantage of your music on Spotify. The first one is the Spotify app. The Spotify app is where you listen to music, where you are a listener and a consumer of music. And that app can be the app on your phone, but it can also obviously be the app on your desktop, or it could be the application that you access through your web browser. And then the second one is called Spotify for Artists. This is an app that's exclusively available for music artists who have published music on Spotify. And in a similar way, it's available as an app on your mobile device, but it's also just available as a website that you can log into. And what Spotify for Artists does, it gives you access to all your analytics, but also your artist profile that you can customize. Customize the graphics, bio, link a bunch of things together. So that's what I wanna talk about in this video here how to access Spotify for artists and once you're in there, how to optimize your artist profile, right? So let's get started. First of all, I want you to browse to artist.spotify.com. You see that URL here at the top. This gives you access to Spotify for artists. And then what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to select get access. Once clicked, it asks you whether you are an artist or a manager or whether you are a label team member. If you're an artist, then just select this option to go to the next step, which is basically logging into your existing Spotify account. So Spotify is asking for your credentials. This is your Spotify account as a listener. So if you've signed up for Spotify, you listen to music through Spotify, then this is it. Those are the credentials you put in here. And if you don't have an account on Spotify yet, then you can just sign up for one down here. Now, the next thing Spotify for Artists is asking you, who are you? What artist team are you joining? Even if it's basically you joining your own artist team yourself. So you come to the search window here and you start searching yourself. And once you've done this, you select it yourself, you land on this page where you have to create your role. If you are the artist, just select artist up here. Company information is optional. Most of us independent music artists won't have a company to put here. Admin level automatically defaults to admin. And then this step down here is really important, okay? Spotify for artists asks you to verify yourself with Twitter and or Instagram. And you can also include an artist website link, but usually just authenticating with Twitter and Instagram does the trick. Now, here's why this is important and what you want to look out for in order to make sure that Spotify accepts your request to get access to Spotify for artists. I found that what's critical here is that obviously the Twitter account and the Instagram channel should be for you as the artist. So it should have the artist name, your picture and all of that. So when Spotify reviews this, they see this is a page related to you as an artist. But the other thing is that you want to make sure the email address that's associated to that Twitter account or to that Instagram account matches the email address that you're using for Spotify. Because what they're doing, they're also matching up the email addresses. And I've tried to verify as an artist in the past and the emails did match up and it's like a lot of back and forth in order to figure out why that was happening. I'll share this with you up front. You wanna make sure these email addresses line up and this should be smooth sailing. Then you hit submit. And as I hinted, this is going to be reviewed by the Spotify team. So you're not gonna get access instantly, but it's usually not taking more than 24 hours 
to have Spotify review this and give you access. All right, so with this said, you are going to be ready to jump into Spotify for Artists. And once you have access, let me show you what it looks like. This is Spotify for Artists from the inside. There are a bunch of different pages up here, but in this video, I wanna focus on the profile page because that's what we're here to do. We wanna set up your artist profile for success. Make it as engaging for fans as possible. And there are a couple of things I recommend you take care of while you're here. It just takes you a couple of minutes, but makes a world of difference for your fans. The first thing is you wanna customize the visuals on your artist profile. So to do that, come here to the top right corner, click that little pencil icon, and now Spotify lets you upload a header image and a custom avatar image for your artist profile. And if you're looking to figure out like well, how big do these images have to be, what kind of format, you'll find that information right here on this page. I have mine uploaded already. I don't want to change them, so I'm just going to cancel out of this one right now. So underneath, you have the artist pick option. So you may have seen this on other artist profile pages. You can select a release, a merch item, a playlist, or something that you want to highlight to your fans. And Spotify is going to show this at the top of your artist profile. In order to make an artist pick, you can either click in here and then search and pick, or you also have all your music show up here and you can just click on any of those three dots and select any of your existing releases as an artist pick. So that's just another way to highlight it. And let me see what else I want to highlight. So right now we're on the overview tab. If you switch to the about tab, you can link your socials. If you'd like fans to have one-click access to you on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and others, you set this up over here. You have an image gallery. If you have more pictures of yourself as an artist, maybe live gigs or something that you wanna feature. In my case, I don't have a whole lot of professional photography. In fact, I have none, I guess <laughs> you could say. So what I did, I just uploaded lifestyle images. The lifestyle that I associate with my music is mostly sunshine, beach, water, having a good time, warm weather. And so I selected a lot of images that just reflect the lifestyle. So that's another way to approach the image gallery. And then underneath you have the bio, which you can customize and copy paste your own text in here. Then if you are playing live, you can link up song kick here and make sure you have your live gigs show up here this is relatively new this is something spotify just launched a few months ago you can now list merchandise in spotify it's a process you actually initiate through shopify because these are shopify products that are showing up here it is something that i recommend because if you have fans taking a look at your spotify profile why not show merch but I don't want to give you the impression that there's going to be a whole lot of sales coming from this because at the moment, as of recording this, Spotify shows the merch items all the way at the bottom of your artist profile. And most fans won't even scroll down to the bottom of your artist profile because they find all that great music towards the top of your profile and just stay there streaming the music. So while I've generated a few sales from this, it's not the most powerful way to get merchandise out right now but since the option is here i recommend you take advantage of it and then if i go back here and I scroll down all the way this is possibly the most important and powerful feature the artist playlists right you are able to have artist playlists show up on your artist profile page and an artist playlist is not actually a playlist that you create through spotify for artists you create the playlist just as any other user on Spotify through your regular Spotify profile that you use to listen to music. But then if you want to associate that specific playlist with your artist profile, you come down here and you click on this little pencil icon and Spotify lets you choose that playlist. So I recommend you just copy paste the URL of that playlist over here and it'll then recognize it as an artist playlist. And as an artist playlist, it has a special feature on your Spotify profile. So this is great to use if you have a this is playlist that you wanna set up or a best of playlist. 
or a playlist that you purposefully curate with your name on it. So you can see I'm using this. I have a Sunset Sessions playlist, Workout Fuel, Musical Education. These are playlists that have my music on it mixed with other artists. And then I have the This Is John Gold playlist where I only have my own music on it. So with this said, to wrap it up, here's just a little checklist that I put together in order to make it easy for you to make sure your Spotify profile is truly set up for success. You want to upload an avatar image. You want to upload a header image. You want to upload your bio, link your socials, feature an artist pick. Again, that can be a new release, can be your playlist, can be merch items. You want to link your playlists and you want to link your merch. All right, so with that said, I wish you all the best going through this checklist, setting up your artist profile, getting it ready for success. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers. Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Grow Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Grow Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast and it's extremely easy to set up, literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you wanna get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify Grow Switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.